Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be filming for you my favourite apps for students. I always like um, watching these videos so I thought I'd make one for you guys. So first we have Taskade. I've been using this a lot lately in quarantine. So you can basically make workspaces for all different things. I just have a personal one and a school one. And under my school one, I have three sub workspaces. So if we go into chemistry, I'm currently in the process of rewriting all my long notes um, and typing them up on OneNote. So I've literally made a to-do list of every single topic that I need to type up, which I find really helpful. And it has like a little completion bar there. So I find that quite motivating, but I've got the same thing here for biology. And these aren't the only things that you can make. So if we go on new, you can have a blank project, daily tasks, weekly planner, meeting agenda, absolutely anything i believe this is also a chrome extension so every time you open a new tab it will come up straight away and it will basically show you your to-do list which i find really helpful because i'm so forgetful um, but if you want to make your own template you can have checkboxes bullets and numbers or just paragraphs so this app's kind of like good for anyone really um, depending on what you want to use it for but another good feature is having like a discussion page so you can invite people to the workspace and you can discuss things call there's just so many different options so if that's something you're into go check that out next is just like a hyperlink to Anki web where I've got some of my flashcards and things for different um, subjects but I recommend downloading that on desktop if you have it because it's brilliant for space repetition. Next we have Snaprovise. I cannot tell you how much I love this app. It's also a website um, and I'm a Snaprovise ambassador. Um, basically what it is, you have the videos of the actual topics you click here and it will run through the video and I find it so helpful because when you go into a new topic you will get a like a little diagnostic quiz so you'll take the quiz and then it will tell you what areas you need to work on and it will highlight the areas in the videos in orange or green green you know really well orange you need to work on and the ones that are left blank you don't know so I found that really really useful and obviously, if we go on microscopes, there's quizzes also to test your knowledge. You get revision guides and an exam pack full of exam questions. And with the ultimate package, you get webinars and drop in sessions, which I'm finding really helpful at the moment as we're off school. Um, they are you can't run them through the app. Unfortunately, you have to use the um, website. You can use it on, a, on an iPad anyway, but I prefer to use it on my desktop so I can use my iPad to take notes. Um, they also have packages at the moment for homeschooling. So if you like the look of this, definitely go give their website a check out and I'll leave it in the description box below. Also, I have a code for 10% of not 10 percent off 10 pounds off your first month so i'll leave that in the description as well next we have flipped i absolutely love this app i use it on my oh, let me just sign in so basically what this app is it's a timer app i mostly use this on my phone but i downloaded it on my ipad for the purpose of the video um they have new features called unplug live and study live which you can join others and obviously study with them and
and what I love about the app is that you have lo absolutely loads of different like sound and things that you can listen to which is great for when you're studying and you want some background noise and then we will have a look at groups um, I've joined a few groups with my friends and this is my group studying with studying digital and my little codes there but I'll leave the link in the description if you'd like to join my group um, it's just a little bit of fun really for me and my study friends just have like a little leaderboard really um, but if you're interested in that I also have 70 75% off premium so I'll leave that in the description as well next we have Xmind I I haven't used this that much this year but for my GCSEs I swore by it um, because I'm like a neat freak I honestly cannot draw my maps because it's got to look right or it's it's got to be even so I literally just use this app to put all the information on here and it just makes it look so nice but there's so many different things that you can customize and it's free so if you're a neat freak and want to make mind maps, go for this app. Or if you just want to make mind maps in general, go for it. I absolutely love this app. But yeah, I don't really use it for my A-levels because there's so much content. But GCSEs was amazing. Next we have Seneca. Again, I used to use this so much for my GCSEs. If you have a look here, 86 hours and 24 minutes spent. On Seneca learning um, but I use it for biology and chemistry at the moment and we have classes and our teachers set assignments for us as we're studying from home and yeah I really enjoy using this app actually because it's it gives you the information to learn so you read through it and basically it will ask you questions on basically the whole topic so if we go start learning so we've got dna and rna so you read all of this click continue and it will give you like fill in the blank questions it will give you multiple choice questions and then it will track your progress so i find that really helpful next we have quizlet I don't really use this that much as I prefer to use Anki flashcards, but I have got a few sets on here. But you probably already know about Quizlet. It's very, very well known. Um, but yeah, self-explanatory really. It's just a flashcard app, which is really good for on the go. Um, Cause you can download on your iPad or on your phone and sync these if you're out and about so next are some note-taking apps that i really enjoy um here i've got good notes this is where i make well i make the um interactive notes and stuff in um keynote and then i'll import it to good notes so like here i've got my flashcards and we'll go to the index page say i want to learn carbon dioxide I can look at that card and then flip the card over and I'll have the definition. So that's what I mainly use GoodNotes 5 for. I also have all of my PowerPoints uploaded on here um, for me to annotate, which I haven't started doing yet. But yep, Notability, as you know, is my main source of note taking and has been for a very long time now um i really swear by this app honestly i love it so much it's so simplistic yet just so nice to look at and i just really enjoy playing around with the different features yeah so if you'd like a notability walkthrough on how i take my notes like this video and i'll probably leave an icard up top so you can vote on my next video. Next we have Notion. I've just started using this actually, but here we have my academic planner and in here we have my main task list. So here I will put 
what I'm doing to do and then done. Go back to my academic planner and go in organisation. Weekly agenda is what I need to do each day. Tests and assignments is what I've got to do. Schedule is where I'll basically put all my lesson times. And then we have some biology notes. Chemistry, well they're not my notes, but they're where I, it's where I organise what notes I've finished and what notes I haven't. Next, Google Drive. This app is amazing, honestly. I have all my school stuff on here and it's just so easy to access because I can access it while I'm at school on their computers and whilst I'm at home. And fin finally, we have OneNote. Um, I've been using this loads over the last couple of days, writing up my notes. I've decided to write out my long notes on here and type them out. And then I will colour code them and then yeah i can write around them draw pictures annotate things so yeah that is basically it thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye